If you've ever played card games, you'll know that one of the first things you might do when you're dealt a hand is arrange your cards into some kind of order, in which case you may well have performed an insertion sort without even realising it. Let's take a look at the algorithm. We're going to use an insertion sort to sort these numbers into ascending order, with the smallest on the left and the largest on the right. Begin by placing a pointer at the second item in the list. The pointer separates the sorted section of the list on the left from the unsorted section on the right, so the pointer is pointing to the first item in the unsorted section. Select the first item in the unsorted section and call this the current item. Compare the current item with the first item in the sorted section. Now in this case the 8 is in the correct place, so insert the current item into the correct position. Advance the pointer. Remember, the pointer separates the sorted section on the left from the unsorted section on the right. Select the first item in the unsorted section. This is the new current item. Compare the current item with the first item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Again, compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. And insert the current item into the correct position. Advance the pointer. Remember, the pointer separates the sorted section of the list on the left from the unsorted section on the right. Select a new current item, that's the first item in the unsorted section. Compare the current item with the first item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Again, compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section and move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Again, compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section and move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Insert the current item into the correct position. Advance the pointer. You can see that the portion of the list on the left-hand side of the pointer is in order. Select the first item in the unsorted section. This is the new current item. Compare the current item with the first item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Notice how we're scanning the sorted section of the list from right to left. Compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. And again, compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section and move the sorted item if it's bigger than the current item. Compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section. Now in this case, there's no need to move the two because it's smaller than the current item. So, insert the current item into the correct position. Again, advance the pointer. Select a new current item, that's the first item in the unsorted section. Compare the current item with the first item in the sorted section. Move the sorted item. Compare the current item with the next item and move the sorted item. Compare the current item again with the next item in the sorted section, but this time the 5 doesn't need to move, so insert the current item into the correct position. Again, advance the pointer. Select the first item in the unsorted section. This is the new current item. Compare it with the first item in the sorted section. And move the sorted item because it's bigger than the current item. Compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section. And move it. Compare the current item with the next item in the sorted section. And again, move it. And again. Notice how the sorted items are being shuffled along to make room for the current item. Another comparison, 4 is bigger than 3, so we move it. One more time, 2 is not bigger than 3, so we found the correct position for the current item. It can be inserted into place. There's nowhere left for the pointer to go, so the insertion sort is finished.
To get familiar with this algorithm, why not take a handful of playing cards or just some pieces of paper with numbers written on them and lay them out in front of you in a random order. Then follow the steps you've just seen to sort them. Do this a few times until you're sure of the process. Here's the insertion sort algorithm that you've just seen, written in a way that will help you to get closer to writing a program. As you've seen, the insertion sort pointer begins its travels at the second item in the list. This separates the sorted section of the list on the left hand side from the unsorted section on the right. We then get into a block of instructions that are repeated until the pointer has scanned the whole list. That is, when there are no more items in the unsorted section. Within this block, the first item in the unsorted section becomes the current item. Then, inside another repeating block, the current item is compared with each item in the sorted section. If the sorted item is bigger than the current item, the sorted item is moved one place to the right. This nested loop actually scans the sorted section from right to left until the sorted item being tested is smaller than the current item, or until all of the items in the sorted section have been checked. The current item can then be inserted into the correct position in the sorted section of the list. The pointer then advances. A new current item is selected and the whole process continues until the pointer has nowhere else to go. Remember that this is sorting a list into ascending order, but a very minor change can be made to sort the list into descending order. All you need to do is change the questions you ask. As said before, to make sure you understand the algorithm, you could try laying out a few cards in front of you in a random order and apply the insertion sort to these. To summarise, the insertion sort can be compared to sorting a hand of cards as they're being dealt. It's particularly good for lists that are almost fully sorted already, or when you just want to insert a single item into a list that's already in order. For example, the high scoreboard of a game would be a good candidate for an insertion sort. A pointer variable separates the sorted section of the list on the left hand side from the unsorted section on the right. As the pointer advances from left to right, each item in the unsorted section is made current. The current item is compared with each item in the sorted section, and the sorted items are repositioned if necessary. Eventually, the correct position for the current item is found and it can be inserted back into the list. The insertion sort is arguably a little harder to understand than a bubble sort, but it is slightly more efficient and therefore a little faster. With the bubble sort, pairs of data items are repeatedly compared and swapped. There's a lot less unnecessary movement of data with an insertion sort.